no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So, um, as a few of you requested, uh, I am going to do a tour of the large farm uh, save game that I have here on UMRV. So, let's jump right into it. Uh, so, first off, uh, in the garage, what do we all got? So, first off, we got the Chevy Silverado 3500 Duramax Dually. Uh, that's backed in here. We got a Ford F-250. Nice blue with a fuel tank in it. Um, got lots of fuel capacity on this farm. Um, got those two pickups sitting there. Then we got the Dodge Ram. Uh, what is it? 2500 sitting there. Uh, it's kind of dirty because I've been driving it around a lot. Got the pressure washer sitting there. Uh, here we got the Thunder Creek FST 995 trailer. Um, this is the one off of Giants Mod Hub. Uh, it's got the ability to customize vehicles. Um, I kind of wish it was set up that you could fix them as well, but oh well. Um, here we got two Mauer header trailers with the Sunflower largest in-game Sunflower header on them. Um, in this shed is where uh, the tillage equipment usually goes, which I'm going to show you that first. So we'll go ahead and we'll run, hop into the Dodge here, and we'll go for a drive. And we will go check out some equipment. So yeah, I am running quite a lot of acres here. I'm not exactly sure how many uh, at the moment. I am still trying to um, figure that out. Uh, I'm still working on uh, recording field edge paths uh, because I don't quite have... I haven't like farmed all the fields yet. Um, if I show you here, we got a little thing set up here um, similar to what we got for the other save game uh, we're running fields 3 18 22 23 24 30 31 32 34 35 36 and 38 so far I've run fields 30 31 32 35 36 and 38 uh, we got 32 acres on 30 95 on 31 35 on 32 69 on 35, 29 on 36, and 30 acres on 38. Uh, plowed and cultivated fields 30, 31, 32, and 36. We're currently working on fields 35 and 38, as you will see uh, here when we get over here. Um, let's see, where's some of our machines here? I think the uh, disc or the plow is probably over there somewhere. We'll drive over here first. So here we have a Steiger. What did I get? The Steiger Tiger 1, I think. Yeah, the Steiger Tiger 1 that is hooked to the Kuhn Krauss accelerator. Um, what's the model number on it? 8,000 is the model number on that. Uh, and then we'll just kind of drive across the field here and go hunting for the other tractor. Oh, I see him right there running. Let's see if we catch up to him and take a look at it. So here we've got a versatile 950 pulling a Landall 2131. Uh, Ripper he is currently running on field 35 here and the Steiger is just sitting there waiting uh, until that guy's done because 
I can't run them both at the same time, otherwise, one, they'll probably get in each other's way, and two, um, with the amount of headlands that I have to do, it would cultivate ground that isn't plowed yet, and I don't want to be doing that, because all of this ground needs to be plowed, and, uh, I mean, it would still plow that area, but it would be after the cultivator's already gone by, so there would still be plowed ground, and I want everything to be cultivated, so, um, just not going to do that. Alright, now we gotta hunt for this one. So, if we go this way, we'll find him. He's coming around on his second headland. This field's a bit of wonky shape. Kind of a goofy shaped field here, but that's what I really, really like about this map is how these fields are set up. Alright, where you at, big boy? There he is. So we got another Steiger 950 running on this piece of equipment here. Uh, this guy here, though, is running a Summer's Disc. Uh, and that thing, it cultivates and plows at the same time. So uh, that's a little bit less ground that we have to run with the cultivator. So that's nice. So let's we'll drive on over to the other farmyard next here. Let's see, can I get out of this field on this end? Yes, I can. And I will. Uh, we'll take a drive over to the other farm and go check out what we got up there. Not using this farm here, although it wouldn't be a bad farm to use. Got some nice storage on it. Uh, I am going to be using quite a vast majority of these grain bins. Um, I'm going to figure out like numbers for them, and I'm going to add that to my uh, Google Sheets list. It just helps keep track of things a lot. Uh, it's nice to have that Google Sheets document because I can keep track of what fields I'm running, you know, what I've done on what fields, uh, what I yielded on those fields, and just kind of see and just to just you know see what's where, what's where. Um, and then on top of all these grain bins, there is a big silo system at the dairy farm as well. So if I fill, you know, if I run out of bin space, I do have that to store the, you know, whatever excess crop that I need to store. Um, so that, that does help, but I would rather fill the bins first and then fill the, you know, silo system. Uh, just because it is a little bit more realistic with the bins. Well, I guess it is realistic with the big silo system too, because a lot of people have them, but I enjoy grain bins a lot more. They're a little more fun to me than the silo system, because the silo system you just pull up and dump. There's nothing more involved. You don't have to have augers or anything like that for those. So here are the grain augers. This is going to be kind of like the storage area for them. So we'll get out and we'll take a look at what we got. So we got the uh, Batco PS2400 uh, drive over jump auger. We got the International 826 with a cab uh, hooked to the Batco 2085 uh, belt conveyor auger. We got the Farm King auger hooked up to the... What is this again? Uh, the case 1570. This is the desert special. Uh, is what it call it? That's what it's called in the store menu, in the options menu. Anyways, all right. So we'll go over here. Um, this farm here is where I got a lot of equipment. Uh, there is. I mean, I'm spread out between three different farms. Uh, just because there's not enough storage on one of them, even two of these, uh, these two farms aren't big enough. Uh, so I'm going to use that bin as well there. I don't know why I'm getting such a big lag here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull up here by the house and then we'll just walk around the yard and 
take a look at all the rest of the stuff. We'll just shut this guy off. Not waste fuel that way. Alright, so in the garage here, we have a couple of items. So first off, we've got a trail, uh, Chevy Trailblazer with a plow uh, attachment on it. That's going to be for plowing snow in the winter time. And then we got a Trans Am, just for, because why not? You know, it's a Bandit Trans Am. Who wouldn't want it, right? Um, and we run down here, we got the PJ Gooseneck trailer sitting down here. I do want to buy a couple of lawnmowers as well for, like, keeping the yards tidy and stuff, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, here in the Quonset, we got uh, two 42-foot Wilson hopper trailers, both uh, gray in color. Uh, for trucks, we got a Western Star 4900, I believe is what it is. Yes. Uh, this Both the trucks are in black. A lot of the trucks are in black, actually. Uh, except for the Ford. That's about the only one. Uh, and then here we got another trailer that's hooked to a Pete 389. So those are both parked in this shed here up in the Quonset. Uh, we got a couple, three more grain bins here in this yard as well. So, again, plenty of storage. We'll open up the door here. In here we've got the two corn headers. These are the biggest in-game corn heads. Also colored in black. And then we have the Boss Snowplow for the uh, Trailblazer. I do want to buy a payloader and a bucket and stuff like that, too. I just haven't yet, but I will sometime between now and winter time, I guess. Um, in this shed here, we've got an International Transstar 2. This is for loading up seed in the uh, air seeder. And then we got the John Deere DB60. And then a Versatile 360. Uh, this is the... 2017 anniversary edition or something like that whatever it is um, with the neat color scheme on it uh, we'll close that door up and go to this shed uh, oh nice my nine R's are gone oh I replaced them with a different one so I'm gonna have to buy a couple of new tractors um, the tractors that were on here because uh, it was a tractor that had the same file name, but I wanted it to replace it anyways because the one that I was getting was a lot better than the one that I had. If that makes any sense. Probably not, but this is the KMN Modding 9R. Uh, they're going to have poly tanks. They're going to be not the RXs. Uh, 9620Rs, they're going to have... Uh, I don't know. They're going to have duels of some sort. I'll figure that out. And probably the rain cap exhaust. But I'm going to have two of those. Um, yeah, I forgot that the, it would replace that. But we got two Kinsey 1500s. And then those two tractors will be on there. Uh, we got a John Deere S670 with a 690 engine in it. And then a CR1090 uh, 40-year rotary edition uh, it is nice all the shops have lights in them as well so don't have to worry about the dark here we got the 20th anniversary 620 quad track hooked to the john deere air seater and then two 45 foot macdon drapers so I'll be able to knock out quite a large swath um, now we'll go over to the third and final farm and we'll take a look at that I know everybody's going to say, well, why didn't you just tab to things and said drive all over Tarnation, but I prefer to drive, actually. Um, yeah, I'm playing as realistic as possible on this map, especially uh, with how nice this is and how like realistic this map is. Um, just fun to play very realistically. Got an old grain bin there, kind of sunk into the hillside now. Might have been an old homestead there or something at one point. Nice big pasture. Even uh, could be a you could cut it for hay if you needed it. So 
So the last of the stuff is stored at the dairy farm. Uh, we talked to the owner of the dairy farm and he doesn't... He has since stopped dairy and uh, is not in need of it. So he is allowing us to rent it from him. Uh, paying him rent to store our machines here and stuff. Uh, so we got... What do we got here? This is solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and seeds. And then we got another pressure washer up here as well. Um, let's see if I can get this door to open. And then in, in here we have two John Deere R4045s. One with a sprayer, one with a spreader box on it. And then if we run back here, we'll just hop the fence. Let's see, this shed does not have a walkthrough door, does it? No. So we'll just open the door a little bit. A little bit more, maybe. There we go. Okay, so in here we got a Kenworth T8, T880 hooked to the Chandler 24 RDT uh, seed tender trailer. Uh, I have it filled up with seed anyways. Uh, at the moment We're ready for our seed hauling needs and then we got a Peterbilt 377 hooked to the Wilson uh, Tender trailer this is with AR uh, So that's basically where you can attach stuff to the back end and I have the Meridian 400 SLD on there I got that filled up with solid fertilizer and so this will be our you know sprayer tender trailer um, Dang it and I'm stuck in here now See if I can get out of here. And then over here we have two Western Star 4900SA triaxles hooked to uh, Easy Load Low Boys. Uh, this is the one from Mod Hoster that uh, LBJ Modding released. It's got mouse controlled ramps. And we can detach it from there. Hook it back up. We detach that. Blocks come up. So, very nice there. And uh, that is all of our equipment on this series, on this save game. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any dairy or anything on here, just crops, lots of them. I have been considering creating a special save game just for doing dairy, but I have not decided yet. Uh, so let's take a look. I am going to tab here a little bit. I'm just kind of curious to see how these guys are doing. This guy's got about another half hour yet of work on this field. How about this one? This guy's just starting, kind of. So he's still got another hour left. Uh, so he, this one's got plenty of time. <laughs> or, like, plenty of work left to do. And uh, that's all that I got running at the moment. I've got... Um, the cultivator just waiting like I said so but yeah guys uh, that's the farm set up on the large-scale farming operation um, as I had said if anybody wanted to see my setup I would do a video of it and so I have so alrighty guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you next time.